Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this Makita wheel sander. Uh, we've got a special project to test it out on as well. Um, I've got uh, some of the original logs from our Dukebor log cabin restoration project that we're going to be working on. So uh, these wheel sander, these wheel sanders um, are, I don't know what they're all used for, but uh, I know the primary use that I've seen them used for and what I really want for is to uh, clean these logs up and that's what I've seen them specifically used on. I imagine you can use them on a variety of things. Uh, the wheels do come in uh, a variety of different sandpaper grips, but uh, I'm really not a whole lot of them. Well, I'm really not uh, super familiar with everything that uh, these are used for and uh, are available with them, but uh, let's go ahead, get this opened up and uh, check it out. So uh, as you can see, this is a fairly big unit, um, pretty heavy duty. I can't remember the grit that uh, came with this now. I had done a lot of research on it, but I remembered it was the one that I wanted to try on these logs. So no need to uh, change that. And uh, this looks like a uh, auxiliary handle of some kind that has come with it. So that's about it. Pretty simple. Now this, uh, I'm going to say this is probably just about ready to set up and just plug in and go. So very basic. As you can see, we've got the wheels here. These are sandpaper. There's a Got a depth guide, um, depth guide right here where you can uh, set that to see how deep those bristles can go, and then a back roller guide to keep the whole thing off the stuff that you're um, working on. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna try to set this up, and we'll give it a test. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the got the uh, sanding disc here and it looks like you, to replace it you would just take these out of the side. There's also a depth gauge on the front that allows you to set how deep you want to go with the sanding and a roller on the back to keep the whole unit off the ground. It looks pretty straightforward. There's uh, like most Milwaukee or Makita tools there's a trigger lock on it and uh, I was reading on the box too, this one was made in Japan. A lot of the newer Makita stuff is uh, now made in China, so I'm glad this was a Japanese made thing. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if you can tell the width, but this is basically as wide as this entire log. So this is a solid six plus inch wide tool, heavy duty. So I think I'm going to just uh, get the depth gauge set up and we'll give it a test on this uh, log from our uh, cabin restoration project. Some messages are not messages. The lyrics on the phone are supposed to be good.
we've got uh, the first logs um, sanded here. I'm going to stain the outside and I think the inside, I really like this patina. I'm just going to leave it natural. If I do put something on it, it'll just be a clear coat, but I'm leaning towards not doing anything, just leaving it exposed. This is, you can't get this kind of patina off a fresh uh, piece of wood or with stain. It's just, this is like a hundred plus years of just making it like this. So I think this will look awesome on the inside of the cabin and the outside will be, uh, you know, it's fairly checked because it's so old, it's dry and it was made out of Douglas fir. But, uh, you know, there's lots of things we can do to uh, make sure no bugs and stuff get in. So anyways, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep uh, following the progress on uh, this hunting cabin. And I uh, hope you guys uh, follow along and uh, leave any suggestions or comments below for things I could do or could do better or differently. Because I want to do as good a job as I possibly can on this and uh, preserve it all, this, all the way and as best as possible. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video.